Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kyle, the channel is TPCV2, and this is Crying Sons. And I know very, 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 very little about this game. In fact, a week ago, I didn't even know it existed, but a friend of mine told me it was good. A friend of mine then got it for me. Thanks, Delrin. And so now I figure I will give it a shot and, uh, and see if it's any good. I did go ahead and I already have a game that's going. The only reason I did that was, again, I haven't even ever heard of this game, so... <laughs> I know nothing about it. I didn't know what kind of game it was or anything about it really. So I did start a game and it seems like it's kind of a, I don't want to say it's like FTL completely. It's it's a little bit like FTL where it looks like you're jumping from system to system to system. Um, the first system seems to be mainly a tutorial system. Uh, Story-wise, you start off in the chamber here as a clone. This guy is what's called an Omni. And yes, there's all kinds of Matrix vibes going on here. But anyway, this guy is what's called an Omni. I guess he runs the station that I'm on. And there used to be a large empire that also ran these stations. And the empire has gone dark. He hasn't had any... He hasn't gotten communications as he is supposed to get. And so he believes that there's an emergency going on. He woke me up and we have a battle a battleship battle cruiser what have you um that we're flying around in to try and figure out what's going on the uh the system where this station exists i have explored it was like three planets and i didn't really find out a whole lot aside from the fact that there's basically scavengers out there who are going to try to attack me and try to try to jump me try to kill me and there's neo n is i believe what the energy source that runs everything is called and there's not a whole lot of that out there so it's going to be kind of important i believe to maintain a supply of that really i don't know much just jumped through those first few planets and now i figured i'd record some of the gameplay see if everybody enjoys it i know i know the game is kind of old uh, it's at least a few years old chapter one. Oh, am i starting all over I might be starting all over. You can access the expedition dashboard here. Prepare mission. No, I don't think I'm starting over. Again, I'm very, very new at the game, so if I look like I'm stumbling around, I will put the pre-game tag on this so that people who don't want to watch me stumble around can maybe jump forward a bit. Although, you might miss a little bit of the story in that case. Anyhow, so you have squadrons, you have weapons, you can charge up your weapon, you can put squadrons in these slots. Oh, I think I just gained... I did, so I have a second squadron slot. And kind of a rock, paper, scissors thing. Uh, fighters do damage against drones. Drones do damage against frigates. Frigates do damage against fighters. Uh, so it's a, it's a nice little rock, paper, scissors dynamic. I think that I can now equip a second one, uh, which will do fighters and frigates. I can also equip an individual. So, Jai Hamilton, emergency repair, hull points per second. I haven't equipped somebody here yet, but I did equip, ooh, Xiaomi? Xiaomi Smith, uh, advanced reload, weapon reload time minus 15%. That seemed like it could be helpful in the weapons area, so that's what we're doing. Um... Oh, I can prepare a mission here. Okay, I, I think I remember where I was. This is the end of the first system. Again, there were a few planets here. I don't know if the star map will let me zoom in or not. Each node represents a stellar system you can visit. Each interstellar jump to a neighboring system costs one Neo N. Okay, that makes sense. Each system contains points of interest. Ground. Okay, all that makes sense. Trading Omnivorge anomalies. Whatever. Let me look at the... Ugh. Each time you jump, the current sector's rulers get more suspicious. Once the alert counter reaches zero, they will follow your tracks and try to find you. Being caught will result in a very difficult and unprofitable encounter. Okay. So if I cl click on this, can I... I can't. I can't zoom in. I can't do anything. So... I guess those were the planets. That's the star, Usoparis. And Usoparis MU-205 was the first planet I visited... Ashem 9 was the second where I fought a guy. Usoparis CH-186 was another one where I fought a guy. And then the Hendrix Nova where, the, Nova, where there is a battleship wreckage. I believe I can, I don't know, beam down to the planet or have a mission on the planet. Minimal requirement, three commandos. We're going to prepare that mission. Okay, we're going to scan the planet. Battleship wreckage. No major threat detected. Ground distress signal, one retreat, retreat chances. 
This is the number of commandos sent on the expedition. Three. Blah, blah, blah. Minimum requirement for three. Maximum ten. Okay. This section displays the types of artifacts you will have a chance to collect during the expedition. Each type will yield the same... Okay. Major threats, exceptionally dangerous situations. Be careful about those. None detected, so I don't have to be careful. Ground distress signals. Dis ground distress signal displays the number of possible retreats your team will have during an expedition. During the expedition, officer survival represents the chance your leading officer has to return safely. Healthy officers have a chance to come back injured. Injures. Injured officers have a chance to die. An injured or dead officer will abort the mission, forcing the team to retreat to the ship without loot. Yeah, I would think dead would retreat or, or cancel. The resource extraction meter represents the minimum and maximum percent, percent of encountered resources that your team will have a chance to bring back with them to your ship if the leading officer survives the expedition. Commando survival meter represents the chances your commandos have to return safely. It displays the minimum and maximum possible number of commandos that will not make it back to your ship. Huh? Oh, 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 okay. I get it. So this is one of my officers where the resource extraction is meh. Commando survival is, hey, decent. This one, though. Resource extraction is better. Commando survival is very high. Command... You will lose between 0 and 1 commandos. 1 and 8 commandos. So this is definitely better. Okay, so we're selecting Jai Hamilton. 10 commandos. Launch the expedition. I've never done this. Lieutenant, Caliban's detected an artifact on this planet that could be helpful in our mission. We have a good idea of where it is, but we'll need you and a team of commandos on the ground to find and extract it. We'll have visuals, but space-to-ground communication will be minimal. We can't risk giving away the location of our battleship or exposing to potential local threats. Only contact us when it's secure to do so, and I'll decide if an emergency retreat is necessary. Of course, any additional resources you encounter should be extracted too. This is a dangerous mission, and some of our commandos could die in the field. Do your best to keep them safe. Now get going. The shuttle's waiting for you and the commandos. Good luck down there. Thank you, sir. Well, they left in a hurry. Okay. And disappeared into the planet. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I don't know what this reminds me of, but this reminds me of an old game. Like, this gives me, like, an Aliens vibe. Like, a really old Aliens game. Like, a Commodore 64 Aliens game. <laughs> Continue. Okay. Danger. Hack. Danger avoided. Sweet. Resource cache, engineering, scrap 38, okay. Danger, hack, danger avoided, <laughs> okay. Another hack, wow. Dude's killing it. Persuasion, nothing found, I don't have persuasion. Danger, fight, in progress. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <gasps> John Hamilton is hurt. I can't stop this? Jeez. It would have been nice to be able to stop that and take my time and stuff. The line is secured, Admiral. You've seen our bio readouts. What do you think? Should we continue with the mission? Health of six. All the commandos. I'm thinking of retreating. Because, I mean, if one encounter damaged Jai three, yeah, let's retreat. Leave the loot. Leave the injured commandos. Bring back all the loot and save 0% of the injured commandos. There's nobody injured, so we'll bring back all the loot. Okay. 181 scrap. A list of outcomes. The star map button opens the current sector star map where you can choose... Oh, I think I know that already. All right. The entrance costs one neo N to reach. I don't think we need to reach that. What is this? Oh, is that the countdown? Inco one incoming alert. Estimated number of jumps before news of your presence reaches local rulers once they hear about you. Come looking, blockade access to their systems. Okay, let's go to the Baco system. Five, is that the number of planets? I don't know what that means. Let's try it. 
Ooh, a red star. Some kind of station, sir. You don't say. Can't you just let us die in peace, imp? I'm not an imp. What is this place, scrapper? Scrapper Hospice Station. Our comrades take our scrap and dump us here when, you, when our irradiated bodies, bodies become a bit, bit dysfunctional. <laughs> it usually happens around 25, 26. But I know one guy, Scrudge, who lived all the way to 33. Good old Scrudge. Now get out of here, imp. Dang. Should we uh, attack the Scrapper Station, sir? I'm not sure I see the point, Captain. No, we continue on. But can't I get the Neo N from the box over there? The, the Borg, the Borg, the Borg cube? Scavenge Neo N. Yeah, see? Yeah, two. The first cube I saw only gave me one. So I guess there's like remnants of the Neo N energy in these cubes that we can use. Uh, is it? Oh, upgrades. Ooh. I haven't seen this. Heat capacitor. 55 heat points per room. So what, we're nice and toasty? Okay, for now, let's close that. I don't, okay, here it is, local system map. Sorry, again, I'm very new at this. So there's four planets here. I think I can jump to them in any order I wish. So um, anomaly signals are the riskiest event events you'll encounter, offering very positive or very negative outcomes. You won't know which type of event it is, negative or positive, until arriving at the signal source. Let's try the one without said event. Just to see. Church beacon, sir. Church beacon? It's time to go to church? I'm pricking up a pre-shutdown message on repeat, sir. Do you feel a lack of spirituality in your life, a lack of purpose? Located in Sector 3 of the Anima Cluster, the Omni Mega Church is the answer you've been looking for. Welcome the machines into your heart, and we promise your life will be a fulfilling one. Nice! Okay, well, that didn't get us very far. What is the X on this one? Oh, ejected cryopod. Wait, does that mean maybe I could... I can't... Oh, I can travel to the star. Oops, I didn't know that. Oh, that's where I started. <laughs> could that mean I could get another crew member? Well, that doesn't look good. Civilian record, sir. Looks like it collided head-on with something in an inter... Interstitial? Interstellar? Interspatial? Interstitial? Interstit... I don't know. Tunnel. Survivors? Unlikely, sir. Not at the speed they were traveling. Might be a small amount of scrap available for... Okay. Yeah, we can scrap it. Scrap it. Yep. Captain, get us that scrap, if there is any. As upsetting as this situation is, we need as much scrap as we can get. Putting my men and women on it at once, Admiral. How did that go? My team's bringing the scrap back now, Admiral. Not a bad little metal haul, if I do say so myself. 32. I'll take it. <laughs> Encountered anomaly. Positive outcome. I like it. Moving on. Uh-oh. Scrapper battleship, sir. Incoming transmission. Shiny ship you have. Think I'll scrap it when you're dead. Okay, so this is how the fights go. Now, granted, I haven't... All enemies you encounter have specialists depending on their faction. Check the description of their core system for information on their specific battleship technology. On their core system. Oh, look at that. All allied squadrons are always in a patched state and cannot be repaired. Haha. -ha. Whenever acquiring a new squadron, it comes as patched, but with a bonus of 30% unit value as scrap or equivalent discounted shops. Okay, I don't know what that means. So this is a patched... Wow! He's going to get crushed. Uh, massive bonus versus fighters. We're going to get him out. These are turn-based. I take it back. They're not turn-based. They are tactically paused. Uh, I think I don't even have to click anything. It's just 15 seconds for the weapon to charge. Now we're going to wait for them to come out. There they are. I don't see... Whoa. 
You can guide your units along using waypoints. To do this, select one of your squadrons on the battlefield and choose a destination while holding the control or command key on each point. Aha! Whoa. So we can't go through here. Squadrons moving on this cell, speed minus 50%. The asteroid field will absorb all damage dealt to this cell and its occupants until destroyed. That's interesting. We're going to send you that way. You guys are going to go up and attack their weapons. We're going to unpause now and let this progress. And we'll actually just click there and fight now. This should go really, really well. Yeah, and it did. <laughs> We'll attack their hull. Our weapon is almost ready to fire. At which point, we will destroy them real quick. Wait, what? Oh. Got it. We're gonna hit the hull. Kaboom! Good job, Admiral. Here's a summary of the really easy battle. Uh, by the way, I'm playing on normal. I'm not on easy. I'm not on hard. I'm on normal. Kaboom! Encountered Anomaly. Warring Battleship. I do think it'd be cool if they actually exploded, but the battleships I've seen so far when you beat them, they just do this until they're gone. They just disappear out into the distance. Next. Wait. Oh, I've only not gone to one. Okay. That's weird. I thought I needed two more. Anomaly signal. Passing through some magnetic interference, sir. Buckle up. Could get bumpy. Got chief for you. Oh, okay. Sir, got a situation down here. There's an isolated fire in C9. This storm must be to blame. What storm? I don't see a storm. C9. That's the primary squadron hangar, sir. Oh, we can put it out using Neo-N foam. Of course it's going to use Neo-N. Or we can let it burn, knowing it won't spread to other sections of the ship, but suffering squadron damage in the process. Your call, sir, but either way, we're looking at some losses here. Requires two, and I have... I am one. Crap. I'm afraid we'll have to let it burn. Our fuel is too precious at the moment. I understand, sir. Let's hope Captain Lynch understands our dilemma. Yeah, he was there, so... Sir, the fire burned out, which is good, but no surprise, we suffered some squadron damage in the, flame, in the flames. Hopefully we'll have a chance to repair it soon. I hope so, Chief. I have a soft spot in my heart for that squadron. I <laughs> killed a lot of scrappers, and I hope it will kill a lot more. Okay, wait a minute. Wrecked. Your squadron sustained too much damage and will need to be specially and will need specialized repair at a station to function at full capacity. Okay, how bad is wrecked? Oh, okay, so they're they're patched up at, at half health. Dang, that's lame. So can I go back to other... You're about to consume your last fuel. Oh! Each planet cost me fuel? No. Oh, that sucks. I was unawares of that. Okay. Edisim uh, only has one. This one has two. Uh, let's go here. It's fine. Yikes. Oh, look. Everybody's, uh, everybody's moving in on me. Just like FTL. Please, don't attack. Look, we have a nice weapon. Excellent at killing. <laughs> we'll gladly trade it to you for just a small amount of scrap. <laughs> What's the catch, pirate? The catch? There is no catch. Why would there be a catch? Trade a small amount of scrap for a weapon. Okay. We'll do it, pirate. Guess I'm feeling generous today. What a relief. Here's your weapon as promised. Now I need to find a dark place to hide. Tesla Field Generator Mark 1. Open star map and refuel. Ugh. Wait. No, no, no. Scavenge. Come on, get me two. Oh, I got one. Sheesh. Uh, upgrades. So, weapons. Additional weapon docks. Add weapon dock to use additional weapons. More weapon, the greater your... Let's just do it. And then I can click the plus, and we can add damage over time. Four DPS for eight seconds. No effects on battleship hull. Okay, so I should not shoot the battleship hulls with this. Impact zone. 
So it has a three hex impact zone. That's interesting. Oy vey. So I'm going to waste my last fuel. Ooh. Shipyard. Yes. Let's hope I can fuel there. Please. Pretty please. Survey says... Church ship! <laughs> okay! Greetings, Admiral. For only a small donation to the church, I won't blow up your ship with my far superior battleship. My name is Father Gregorius. All things considered, I think you'll find this a most generous offer. Eleven scrap? Yeah, that's fine. Take it. We're not looking for a battle. Good. Now I suggest you take your meager ship elsewhere before I asunder it. I thought I could ref... I am known for my kindness, but even my generosity has its limits. Are you serious? Seriously? What? What? what uh... Visit shop. Okay. So they do have a shop, and I can buy fuel. Oh... I thought I was buying 10 for 20. Commandos, trained soldiers, whatever. Um, yes, repair. Yes, repair. Why is these gone? Oh, I spent... <laughs> spent too much. Yes, repair. Okay, what do I have to sell? Oh, I could sell my officers. That's cute. All right, that'll be fine. You jerk. The abandoned auto factory. Let's go there. A key battleship, sir, and badly damaged. I'm picking up a faint distress signal from inside their battleship. Want to send us in, sir? Honestly, it'd be nice to see a little action. Let's contact them. Get me in touch with the ship, Lieutenant. Ring. Sorry, sir. No one's responding. Ship looks to be abandoned. Yep. Okay. Lean. Put a team together and find that signal. Of course, sir. Watch your sixes, troops. We're heading in. Oh, so this is another ground mission? Do my, uh, do my people heal over time? Oh, it's not. Sir, we're in. Our trackers are telling us we're close to the signal, but we're hit a sna we've hit a snag. Quarter collapse, sir. Blocking us. Unless we have a way of clearing a path through this rubble, I'm afraid the search ends here. Uh, ask a specialist, yeah. You know the situation, Lieutenant. Lean can't advance unless we somehow clear a path for him. I see. Well, I should be able to remotely command a drilling drone. It won't be the biggest of passageways, but it should allow the team, most of the team, to continue forward. Uh-oh. Good or no good? It's done, sir. Thanks to the pencil pusher, we've made our way deeper into the ship. Great. The signal is coming from the brig. There's a prisoner here. He's in a bad way. He's got his hands on a dead guard's comm device and was using it to send the signal. Oh. Says the Aki ship got crushed battling pirates. Also says he's a senator and that if we deliver him s safely to his planet, we can expect a big fat reward. Yes, expect. We can expect a big fat reward. Downside is he's stuck in one of those damn Aki hypercells. Gonna require some time and resources to bust him out. Your call, sir. Ooh. $22? Do it. Free the man, Lean. We're taking the senator home. Right away, sir. Aye, aye, Captain. Thank you, Admiral. Feels nice to be out of that cage. Like I told your man... If you can deliver me safely to my home planet in the next sector over, mark my words, you will be handsomely rewarded. Brilliant. Cool. Wait, prepare mission? Oh, did I miss out on prepare mission elsewhere? Oh, no. Uh, okay, let's prepare our mission. Let's scan the planet. This seems a little bit superfluous, but whatever. Abandoned auto factory. Auto like cars or auto like. No, it's gotta be auto like auto manufacturing. We'll extract between 0 and 23. 0 and 21. Yikes. Yeah, we'll do it. I mean, any scrap to make up for what we've spent fueling the ship would help. Oh, jeez. It's 
right down there, huh? Bummer. Good. 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 Alrighty then. Nothing found. Resource cache, sharp senses, okay. <laughs> Great. That's good. Yes. Hey, scrap! How long can you continue a mission? Seen our bio readouts, what do you think? Should we continue with the mission? So if I retreat and we leave... No, continue. Bummer. <laughs> Extraction point. Oh, so there, it's... Okay. It's over. So everybody made it back and we got resources out of it. More than what we paid to get the guy out of the thing. That works. You've already sent an expedition to this planet. I'll pay attention to that more often. I don't know if I could have beamed aboard the church ship or flown aboard the church ship or not. Um, Auxiliary systems, I have none yet. Anyhow, so that's Crying Sons. I think it's kind of interesting so far. I'm interested to see also what the, what the story is. I'm also interested, I didn't realize, like, is this it? exit like if i exit can i go to another system or am i just scroogeed um so i'm here where's my mission oh i guess my mission is here anyhow so we will continue to play this and i thank everybody who decided to watch and i especially thank darren for you know tossing me the game in the first place and you guys will see my gameplay and you will hear my voice on the next one